It has been years in the making and today the owners of the 200 acre Riverwalk Golf Club, one of the largest pieces of land in the city, announced plans for a major redevelopment. It includes 4,000 housing units. Our 10 News reporter Matt Boone has the new renderings of that project that's part of a larger vision for Mission Valley. It's become an annual trip for Dwayne Jeter and about 40 of his friends. Tear up the uh, landscaping. They come down from L.A., staying in Mission Valley and always golfing at Riverwalk. The fee is good. And the course is good. Not easy, but playable. This is the very first course I got a birdie on. The news that it would be closing hit hard. Where they go? Oh, this is gone? Oh, I thought they was going to redo it. Oh, is this our last year here? The plans call for a mixed-use village, including a new trolley stop, retail, office space, and about 4,000 housing units. There are some things that are going to remain, like the bridge over the river and the clubhouse, though that's going to be totally redesigned and turned into a restaurant. At Savita Park, the latest civic-minded project emerging in Mission Valley, I met with city planner Nancy Graham. This is the first phase. There's still um, more to come. She says the Mission Valley planning group just had a milestone vote to start drafting the next 30-year master plan which hasn't been overhauled since 1985. What we are looking to do is to increase the capacity in the new Mission Valley plan, and we're looking to add about 17,000 new units. What we're really focused on in terms of Riverwalk, what our objectives and goals are, are really to create a transit-oriented development community. That's project manager Bavish Parikh, who feels confident, unlike other projects that have failed at this location in the past, this one will go forward. As an organization that this is what we do. We develop properties like this. As for golfers, can we march? They can rest easy for now. Construction likely won't start until 2020. In Mission Valley, Matt Boone, 10 News.